All right, guys, I'm back here with Cody. We're uh, currently in Spokane, Washington. All right, Cody, so uh, how long you been homeless, Cody? Um, well, it's been uh, off and on, but fuck this year pretty much on. Uh, it lasts about three years, two and a half, three years. What happened? Uh, I am really, really, really fucking, you know, I think things through and, you know, make good choices and stuff. And so when I'm in an Oxford house or clean and sober living environments, I go and like get high and get kicked out. And so I put myself in these situations where I have consequences and then they are extreme because that's what I think is going to keep me from getting loaded. But then I do it anyways because I, I don't fucking know why. Are you from Spokane? No, sir. I am from uh, Leavenworth. Oh, okay. Dang, that's a nice city too, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, why are you over here instead of Leavenworth? Well, Leavenworth's got its own issues too. It's beautiful there. Of yeah. It's, it's a tourist trap. But, you know, I grew up there and uh, so my family's lock truckers and we've been settled there for a long time. And uh, I like... Uh, well, I don't know. I'm here just because my mom lives close by. She's in the valley and she works in a, in a treatment facility of sorts. Oh, okay. So she gets to be here helping people, and I get to be closer to her. I'm, I stayed in Olympia for a good, good long portion of my life, and in North Dakota for a few years as well. Oh, okay. But uh, to be honest, I would love to get out of Spokane anytime. Yeah. Just... Is it is it really bad here with homelessness? Um. So it's really bad in a lot of places with homelessness, but uh, it, mm. it is pretty bad here. You know, snow. Uh, it sucks. Um, yeah, that's what I'm noticing, man. There's a lot of fucking um, discrimination against homeless people. There's okay, that was going to be one of my questions. There's a lot of people that are willing to give someone a hand up, but there is a lot of people that will... Uh, there's more people out here who are like, oh yeah, I'll help you out or I'll do this for you. And they all are, have some ulterior motives mm. as far as like individual people goes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know some of my best friends and, and their family to me are people from AA and from NA and mm. from and from the, the recovery communities because, and I'm not in recovery right now, I'm mm. working on my good human traits and, and character assets and my defects are kicking my butt, but you know what, like I'm trying to learn from that stuff and uh, trying to keep my, my, my sanity is long gone mm. and my, my serenity is fucking gone with it, but uh, when I get... Well, the only people that I have that actually love me are people who are in, who aren't doing drugs and who are clean. I have a few good friends that I still use, but like they, everyone goes downhill. It just mm. takes a matter of time, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, um, myself. what's your plan to get uh, sober? Uh, well, that's the greatest thing ever. Is that there's like this super simple, like set of uh, guidelines to do so, and it's the steps. But here's the, the thing, like getting into treatment right now is my fucking that's my plan mm -hmm. but it's so hard to get in if you're not on doc um and uh, i've been I, I waited for two two months and uh, almost two and a half months for a bed date just to find an opening and to get into detox which yeah. i need to do is a whole nother fucking problem like you go to the hospital and every time i've gone to the hospital like three out of six or three out of five times mm -hmm. uh my girlfriend can get into detox because there's more women's beds available because there's less women. Uh, but they'll be the men's beds are full like like most of the time I go. So I'll sit at the hospital for like 16 hours and then I'm sick as as, as all could be. And then they literally say, "Oh, hopefully uh, call tomorrow and you know here's the direct line for them and maybe they'll have a spot for you." And they don't. Are you so, currently on the blues, man? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I've have you ever? There. Was that? Off. I've been weaning um, off for a little bit, but what happens is I start trying to av avoid and run away from some of my fucking uh, problems that I can't, just really just can't handle, choose not to handle, and it's so overwhelming because just shit's really hard right now. Yeah. And then I get super duper lit, and then uh, and then my tolerance goes back up, and then I get sicker than I was before, and and I hate Suboxone for some stupid reason, but I don't know. Um. How many do you do a day? Uh, that really depends. So between my girlfriend and I, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, if we're even able to to get what we need to, to get well, uh, we do like about one to two. So mm -hmm. split between two people, really, we're only doing like one or two a day, you know? So mm -hmm. two, maybe 
two and a half or three each, like total. Oh, okay. So really one and one to one and a half for the two of us. Uh -huh. But like when I'm doing all right, which I'm doing all right, I've been working, I've been, I got like fucking, you know, plenty of those motherfuckers, and so I'm just yeah. smoking away, and uh, and it's nice to get, you know, feel good and not just feel not sick, you know. Right. But then it has its own problems too. Have so, you ever overdosed before, bro? It's a good story. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm not proud of the overdosing thing, um, and it's happened twice that I know of. Uh -huh. uh, both of those times, my girlfriend was there to save my life. Um, wow. And both of those times, she shoved a bunch of ice cubes up my butt in public places and uh, rescued me by shocking my system with ice. Wow. Uh, the, the last time I uh, was in, uh, it's cold. Uh, the last time was about a year ago, and uh, uh. I haven't overdosed again since then. But uh, I was at a gas station in Coeur d'Alene, right on Solstice Way. And uh, I was in there for far too long to, for in the bathroom. Uh -huh. part of it, for far too long to be not doing drugs. So she uh, yeah. she gets a feeling that something's wrong and she goes in the in the store when she's from the gas and mm. she freaking kicks down the bathroom door. Your girlfriend. And yeah, and she kicks down Dang, the bathroom dude. door. And we we're like both wanted at the time, so it's like, okay, yeah. cool, let's draw some attention and be you know, let's get all this let's, let's get it. Yeah. If you like jail, let's go to jail. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, she kicks in the bathroom door, and uh, fucking there I am, blue as could be, and like, I'm gasping for air, and she could hear me through the door before she broke down the door. So she pulls me out and drags me out of my feet into the uh, main area, and the cashier, uh, she just started working there that week. Mm. So she uh, she actually quit a couple of days later, because she just did not like the, uh, wow. the excitement of the Coeur d'Alene gas stations and the Mexican crisis. Wow. Anyway, so she, uh, you know, violated me to save my life in front of this girl, and this poor girl is like, ah. So, <laughs> That's crazy. She man. saved me, and that the cops luckily didn't have any ability to do anything. They were like trying to make. They were fucking poking, poking the bear, man. They were like, mm. yeah, we could have got you, man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then we got pulled over a couple of weeks later, and they're like, hey, you're that guy who overdosed in the bathroom. And I was like, hey, man, I'm a week and a half sober. He's like, ah, fuck, no one gets sober. I was like, you want to go to this AA meeting? There's like 50 motherfuckers in there that are sober right now. I bet wow. you you might learn something. Um, like, yeah, I believe it. See. That's a crazy story, man. Um, yeah. I was going to ask you, if your family gets to see this video, what would you want them to know about how you're doing? So my family got to see just how fucking bad it has been for me. Uh, and not like in a poor me kind of way or not in like a oh god he's uh his life looks bad on the ass no like i went to dinner at frankie doodle or whatever that that frank's diner over there on uh by the uh, conoco uh -huh. and my grandparents they live in north dakota my little brother and uh they raised me did a lot of the Anyways, I, I had dinner with them when, with, with my girlfriend, and uh, and we had just done a shot of meth, and because uh, <laughs> we thought they were gonna be another hour and a half, two hours away, so we were gonna go run around, get some beans, and fucking, you know, get well, so we weren't sick, and mm. fucking, and so we like all of a sudden get dumped on us. That they're like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, we're two minutes away. I thought we were fucking an hour away still, and I'm like, ah oh, shit. So we're like walking right past where we're going and there yeah. they are parked in the market line and we just did a shot and we're all fucking like fuck huh. and our, my Dang. face is all fucking picked out and i had an abscess on like just a bunch of stupid shit that sucks and life is way better when that's not happening right right, right. so here we are going into this fucking nice restaurant where i've never been mm -hmm. and here are my fucking awesome ass grandparents who do really well for themselves working in the oil field they own their own business trucking company and uh, wow and uh here we are fucking flailed out as could be trying to eat food and we can't get a fucking bite down because I'm so uncomfortable and so fucking just tripping that I'm just this disappointment and what I would want them to know is like that isn't how bad it is every day there's good days in there you know but uh but my worst day clean is better than my best day fucking getting high for sure man. and uh, there's no way to fucking do it other than to do it and if my grandparents or my family were to have know what it, what it's like like a lot of them do they my family is full of addiction and alcoholics and stuff and uh 
thing is, most of my family works with program of recovery, and they're in, they're sober. And uh, my dad's got 12 or 13 years. That's good. Man. And uh, he, uh, all the ones of the, the all of my family members that are working, uh, and their lives are okay, and they're, they're they're helping people. They all go out of their way to be a positive member of society. That's good, bro. And uh, that's and I am too, even when I'm fucking loaded. But there's a whole lot more I could do if I was uh, just taking care of myself. So. Um, Sorry. It's all good, bro. No, I appreciate it. You know, I, everybody's story is important. You know, um, I was gonna ask you something. It's just like your story's pretty impacting. You know, it's, it's a good. Um, I love. The, where's your girlfriend at, bro? Uh, well, uh, I left her at home. Uh, we're um, staying at a friend's house right now, and uh, she was. Uh, we weren't doing super great with communication. This, this morning, it's last, last night, so uh, mm. I but went ahead and let her sleep because she needs to get some of that. And uh, and I just went to uh, Spark and had my and tried to appeal the denial of getting uh, in, an intake done because they uh, I hit my tutor in the bathroom while I was getting my intake done last time because I'm fucking dumb and uh, oh, I wanted wow. to get high one more time. And then I when they asked, I'm like, oh yeah, I did that. Oops, I shouldn't have done it. And they're like, yeah, get the fuck out. And I'm like, oh fuck it. Waited for two months for that bed date, and then I fucked it off. So, anyways, I went there and appealed, and they're supposed to hopefully call me, and uh, maybe they will do another intake for me, and I'll be able to get into treatment again. Hey, bro, I appreciate the interview. Um, what do you have an email or a phone number where if people want 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 to send you donations that that they can? Yeah. Could you give it, bro? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, my phone number is five zero nine seven two four nine three one three. And then my email is willitcody011 at gmail.com. And that's like W-I-L-L-E-T-C-O-D-Y-011 at gmail. Sweet. Okay, bro. And lastly, would you be okay with me posting this on my YouTube channel? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Absolutely.